hearing the words Duffer and Brothers makes everyone think of just one strange thing. The last season was absolutely insane and ended with what some consider to be a cliffhanger, remarkable filmmaking by the Duffer Brothers as expected. Now, how can these two expand their talents to other projects? Do they have any plans after Stranger Things? In this video, we'll explore their upcoming projects, some of which sound very exciting. But first, let's dive into the fifth and final season of Stranger Things. It's been a long journey since we've seen our favorite 80s nerd club in action, six years to be exact. But the Duffer Brothers have planned the entire story from the very beginning. All of this will lead up to the series finale, and we expect a release by 2024. So what do we know? Spoilers ahead, here's a quick recap, so hold on to your seatbelts. Max is in a coma. Will is the main character for the next season because he still feels the upside down in him. Robin finds a new love interest. Vecna isn't completely dead yet. Nancy might still have feelings for Steve, and there are still lots more secrets to uncover. Whew. Will the fan favorite Eddie Munson make a return? What's happening to Max? And will they explore Will's sexuality? There's just so much to see and uncover, and so little patience. This next season is about to be huge, and though it's obviously putting a lot of pressure on the directors of the show, based on their track record, they're probably cooking up a masterpiece back in the writer's room. So we really have nothing to worry about, I hope. Let's just hope we don't have another Game of Thrones on our hands. Now for the spin-off. Matt and Ross Duffer have signed a pretty long contract with Netflix. This includes the previous six years with Stranger Things, and now they're moving on to some more projects, whether it's part of Netflix or not. So what's next? A spin-off series has been confirmed after the brothers formed Upside Down Pictures, a production company named after the alternate realm in the show. The series will focus on a totally new cast with just one character returning. They want the new chapter of this universe to be attached to storytelling sensibility. This probably means they want the same energy and atmosphere they have in Stranger Things to be applied in the spin-off, but no one knows what the spin-off will be about. Only the two masterminds know the fate of this universe. Oh, and also Finn Wolfhard, because he somehow randomly guessed the plot. Smart kid, but let's hope he slips some details in any future interviews. We don't have a release date, a first look, or anything of that sort, so let's not keep our hopes up. Other than that, a stage play about the series is also in the works. Adding a bit of detail about the play, the show will be within the universe of Stranger Things, of course, but directed by Stefan Daldry and produced by Sonia Friedman. Yes, the creators will be overseeing this project, and it will also be based on an original idea of theirs. So a spin-off and a play that are totally independent from the original story sounds exciting, but unfortunately only a few will be able to witness the play. We could always rely on someone secretly recording the whole thing, but where's the fun in that? The Duffers are clearly not remotely done with the Upside Down, mainly because they're so attached to it and that they named their production company after it. But new things are coming and fans are looking forward to it. Also, a Stranger Things anime? This is nothing but a rumor, but it has sparked social media. We know little to nothing about it, but word has it that the two brothers are thinking of making an anime based on the world of Eleven and the Demogorgons. It might be called Stranger Things Tokyo, but neither the Duffer brothers nor Netflix choose to comment on it. Best we've got is a fan-made trailer, and if you've seen it, it looks really good. Animation can really excel special effects and action scenes that seem practically impossible to do in live action. That is, unless you want your scene looking like a CGI mess. Not naming any famous universes, because we know how defensive those fans are, so for legal reasons, we choose not to give any further comments. Stranger Things Tokyo looks like a very far-fetched idea, but if it somehow kicks off, fans are in for a treat. Now, what would the Duffers be up to that's not related to the very famous Netflix show? Moving on, Outside the Upside Down. More good news for anime fans out there. The creators of Stranger Things will be pitching in their ideas to do the source material of a certain anime, Justice. This particular show has had previous live actions attempts that weren't the best. Death Note has found its new directors, and this looks very promising. Netflix has already released a live action film starring Nat Wolf and Willem Dafoe back in 2017, but a cast as impressive as that failed to be, well, good. Now, we can't all point fingers at the director. Let's give Adam Wingard some credit. He worked with what he got. He too has a fun filmography. Maybe it's the fact that live action adaptations of anime just never seem to work out. But will the Duffers give Light Yagami and L the justice they finally deserve? Or will their attempt go down the drain too? Let's find out. But for now, let's talk about another adaptation. Next up, The Talisman. Love him or hate him, you have to admit Stephen King can make some pretty good thriller novels. But with The Talisman, he teamed up with another legendary author, Peter Straub. The story is about a young boy who travels to an alternate dimension known as The Territories, where he must find a magical orb to cure his mom's terminal illness. Sounds thrilling, because there is more to the story that we don't really have time to get into, but guess what? The siblings will be directing a series 
series based on the book, Alternate Dimensions and 80s Horror, this is right up their alley. This series seems even more promising because the two are collaborating with Amblin Entertainment. What's that, you ask? Oh, nothing, just a company owned by Steven Spielberg. Steven freaking Spielberg. Not one, not two, but three visionaries will be working together on a thriller sci-fi series. Consider us hooked and seated. So, if you want to prepare for this upcoming project of theirs, you better hit the books. Now, in other news. First of all, Will Byers as a lifeguard. Noah Schnapp, the Stranger Things icon, opened up about his life outside Netflix and fame. This summer, he applied for a job that most actors wouldn't really think of. Yep, the young star spent his summer lifeguarding his local pool. How heroic. Now, if only he could save himself from the upside down for once. Noah talked about how he always wanted his life to be grounded and didn't want fame to get to his head. Too late, judging from how big the season 4 paycheck must have been. He chose to lifeguard for fun and also talked about pursuing a business major from the University of Pennsylvania. Looks like the 17-year-old has a backup in case his acting career doesn't take off after the series finale. And Joe Keery disguises himself on stage. The Steve Harrington actor recently came clean about his presence on stage under the name DeJoe. Apparently, the star wears a wig and sunglasses so that he can be unrecognizable while playing music in front of a crowd. A reason for this is to detach himself from acting and focus on the music instead, which is honestly a fair point, because it's always nice to have a hobby. The singer-actor has been releasing new music on YouTube and other streaming platforms, so go have a listen. Call it what you want, but I think we're witnessing the modernization of iconic Disney star Hannah Montana. This really is the best of both worlds. Lastly, first look at Enola Holmes. Millie Bobby Brown's acting career doesn't end just with Stranger Things. Back in 2020, the young star starred alongside Hollywood's A-listers like Superman himself, Henry Cavill, and Helena Bonham Carter. At just 16, she plays Enola Holmes, sister of Sherlock Holmes. In the first movie, Enola finds herself looking for clues and unraveling mysteries about her mother, all while trying to outsmart her very cunning and very handsome brother. In the sequel, she'll be taking on her first case as a detective and help find a missing girl. But this time, she'll need some help from her friends. A set of images have been released showing Millie, Cavill, and the rest of the cast in action. From the look of it, the second installment will be another fun adventure. The movie will be released later this year on the 4th of November. And that's all for this video. Which project of the Duffer Brothers are you most excited about? And should the two take on some other adaptations? Let us know in the comments below. As usual, leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you can see more of our content. Catch you in the next one.